As we get to know you, yeah. we discover that you are dead on the inside <laughs> and Is this hate joy. And, <laughs> we're, we're, Ed and I, Ed and I, look, we have similar tastes in comedy, I think you'd say. That's true. Yeah. But when Ed divulged the things that he doesn't like, <laughs> he was pretty much listed the things that give me a will to live. That you love. So he's not a really big, you're not a big fan of music. No, no, I got terrible no, taste. Don't in like music. I uh, know oh, I like music. I just got bad taste in music. Okay, but it's not important to you. No, God no. Nah, okay, right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay, and you uh, don't like Harry Potter? Think it's a waste of time. Well, here's my thing about Harry Potter, and I'll only say one word about Harry Potter. <laughs> Here, if let's say that you went to a school, yeah. right, and you were one of the other students, Grant, yep. at Hogwarts. Yep. Every couple of months, <laughs> some sort of lunatic comes to try and murder one of the other students in your class. Yeah. If I was a teacher or the principal of that school. What was the easiest way for me to stop mass murderers trying to come to my school every two months? Just expel Harry Potter. (laughs) (laughs) If they had expelled Harry Potter in the first episode or whatever it was, none of that problem would have happened. It's not a very good story, though. (laughs) You're the worst. (laughs) I know. (laughs) But the biggest one for me, the biggest one, was when he said, I hate dogs. Uh... I said, dogs ruin families. Yeah. <laughs> which okay. which I think even, is a significant well, step. I, I okay. can't even. Ready to hear my case. I don't understand. Oh, dogs ruin families. Correct. Ed Cavalier. Wait. What? Before he does his thing, mm. well, I happen to have in my arms, as you yes. both noticed, mm. a 10-week-old bull Arab cross named mm. Hooper from mm. the Sydney Dogs and Cats home. A wonderful place. We love them. We help them. And... Um, I just thought maybe while I'm holding no, him right now, you're going to touch <laughs> and touch the hold. Dog. I don't want to touch the dog. Ten, you, it's happening. I don't want to touch and then the dog. you're going to explain to everyone your theory on why dogs ruin family. That is the cutest Sorry, face gonna, oh, no. on the planet. I'm Look at him. He's got nothing but unconditional love to give. What's your problem? Um, I've got many problems. <laughs> Hello, who was his name? Well, it's not Hooper. A bomb. <laughs> he's he's going to wee on me. Of course, I hope he is. He's going to wee on me. <laughs> Uh, oh, he's so uh, he's so scratchy. He's got his <laughs> his little, I don't know where do I hold it. Oh my! I don't want to hold his. Do you hold your baby like this? I don't want to hold the danger end. <laughs> the go zone. Right. Oh, that he's, face is delicious. Can I be honest? He smells. He smells. Like <laughs> smells like a, a fresh little puppy. Yes, like you know, like like babies. Sm- How good is a baby smell? It's the same okay? thing. Do you know what he smells like? He smells like all my friends' houses who have dogs. <laughs> which is, it smells like what their clothes smell like. Which is what their what their cars smell like. Which is dog. It is mm. so cute. Look at the way his hair's falling look under your nice like, jumper. Look at him. He's doing <laughs> smoochy. He's going to do a little wee on you. He's making a face, which makes me think he's about to try and relieve himself. Can I Can I put him down? <laughs> I can't think while I'm holding a dog. Why do dogs ruin family? <laughs> Why do dogs ruin family? Dogs ruin families. Please, uh, Benny, play my little bit, please. This is the sound of a baby crying. Something that we are all used to. Okay, put that. pull that down. That is taken directly from an app that two of my, a friend of my friends have had to get on their phone because they're about to have a baby. They're about to bring a new life into the world. The reason that this species was created is to procreate and to move on and to move humanity forward. They have had to play that noise in their house. To who? They're two stupid sausage dogs <laughs> to try and, and I quote, yeah, condition them. Ready. emotionally condition, condition them the, for the sausage dog. Yeah, so yeah. they don't bark every time the baby cries. Of course you do. That is ridiculous. It's sensible. They're having a child it's and they're smart. worried about a, a sausage the dog yeah. healing. The dog. And they're yeah. very anxious, those dogs. They are anxious. Yeah. That's the other thing they told me because yeah. the dogs get anxious. One of these dogs once attacked me. Yeah. I was bitten on the ankle by a sausage dog. Okay. And I haven't, <laughs> I haven't forgotten. Have you met you? You're six foot five. And they said it was my fault. They said, you're making what? the dog nervous. I said, I'm standing still. They said, exactly. <laughs> Today FM Breakfast with M. Grant and